Hey everybody, how's it going? And welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. We all know that the ATF doesn't get very much love, and for good reason. Well, they decided to take their frustrations out on the American people on Valentine's Day by posting one of the most cringy tweets that I have ever seen. They want you to snitch on your ex for Valentine's Day. Now, I understand it's the day after Valentine's, but still, this is a tactic that they're going to be using, so I wanted to share it with you guys, and you honestly just have to see it. So, let's talk about it. Okay, so I have the tweet in my hand. We're gonna go ahead and put that up on the screen here in just a second so you guys can read it for yourself. But like I was saying before, this is low even for that particular alphabet agency. This is about as dirty as you can get. And I would think that it's probably gonna lead to some fraudulent claims. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and take a look at it right here. And I'm gonna read, uh, read it except for some parts that might get me censored and stuff. So let me just go ahead and read it. You guys can read the rest. Valentine's Day can still be fun even if you broke up. Do you have information about a former or current partner involved in? Let us know and we will make sure it's a Valentine's Day to remember. Wow. So basically the ATF is saying, hey, are you having a bad Valentine's? Because maybe you're single, your ex, you guys broke up, maybe you don't like him. Well, go ahead and tell us what he's done and we'll take care of it. That should make you happy to see him walk away in cuffs. So let me go ahead and summarize this tweet in as few words as possible, okay? Because it really doesn't need that much of an explanation. This is a revenge tweet. This is them saying that they will get revenge for you. So if you're spiteful at your current partner or your ex-partner and you want a way to get back at them, just go ahead and give us a call. Give us what information that you have on them and we'll go ahead and take it. We'll take it from here. We'll take care of it for you so that you can have uh, some joy on this holiday. Now, I got to be honest, if you ever want to just sit back and be shocked, just go ahead and read some of their tweets. They almost never disappoint. You might have the perception that you live in one country, maybe a free country, right? Until you start reading some of their tweets and there's no filter there. They'll put whatever they want and it kind of gives you an insight as to how they think and how they operate. I mean, come on, they even came up with a broken heart graphic for this particular tweet, which kind of shows you, right, intent. It shows you that they're talking to those people with broken hearts. They're not talking to people who are happy. Hey, you're having a great day. Go ahead and send us this information and we'll go ahead and change that. No, they're saying if you have a broken heart, call us and you know we'll make sure we can fix it for you. Now, there was a Republican senator that responded to that tweet saying that this sounds a lot like the old Soviet Union and I would have to agree with that completely. This is not something that we do here in the US. This is not something that we do to people who have rights and freedoms and stuff. You know, we don't have, we don't incentivize people based off of their emotional vulnerabilities to uh, turn someone in, to, to turn on somebody. That's, that's just not something that we do here. Uh, but apparently it's something that they do. So I wanted to share that with you and just show you again, how low they're willing to go in order to meet their quota and to achieve their agenda. So thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, hit that little bell notification, and you guys have a great day.